This video explains how to drop columns from a pandas data frame by index position using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next lines of code, I'm creating an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And this data frame contains six rows and five columns, which are called x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. Now let's assume that we want to drop the column at the second index position of our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the next code box. And in this code box, I'm using the drop function. And within this function, I'm using the columns attribute. And within this attribute, I'm specifying the index position two. And I'm also specifying the axis argument to be equal to one. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame that I'm calling data new one. So after running the lines of code that you can see in the third code box, a new data frame is appearing. And this data frame contains all the rows of our input data frame, but the column at the second index position, which was called x3, has been removed. Now we can also remove a list of columns from a pandas data frame, as I will show you in the next example, starting in the fourth code box of this tutorial. So as a first step for this example, we need to create a list of all index positions that we want to drop. So in this case, we want to drop the index positions one, two, and four. And we are storing these index positions in a new list object that I'm calling drop list. So in the next step, we can use this list to drop all columns with the index positions stored in this list, as you can see in the code box number five. So in these lines of code, I'm once again using the drop function, and then I'm specifying the drop list object that I have created in the previous step to drop all columns with the index positions that are stored in my list. So after running these lines of code, another data frame called data new two is created. And this data frame contains only the columns x1 and x4. So the index positions that have not been contained in our list. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.